<laughs> Who could have pictured this, huh? I mean, I always knew you were something special, but this, this is next level. Only a handful of fighters have become double champs in the UFC. Some very rare company. And Ty, good. All right, at the end of the night, though, remember, it's just a fight. Stay focused on the task at hand. We can worry about finding more trophy space in the morning. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so here we go with this epic fight, one of the biggest fights in UFC history. Given what is at stake, here comes the UFC champion trying to add another title in a second division simultaneously. Doesn't happen every day, folks. We could all witness history here tonight. Well, you can feel the tension in the building. Whoa! All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Lands with the right hand. Covington, the strike attempt there is blocked. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, he's broken. He's hurt hands. Now goes in and secures the takedown. John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Annex. Good work from the top here by Covington. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control. Up of body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for the finish. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have now landed for Colby Covington. Take the ring. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, this is the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight. Come on. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's go. All right, let's get to round two. Nice straight punch. Goodness, what a fight. Yeah, man, 
crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 22 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the Cobra. Well, get that man a second place, put a belt over his shoulder. He has become a two-division UFC champion here tonight. Rarified air. Only a select handful of guys in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship have won a belt in two divisions, and you can add his name to that list. Absolutely incredible what he accomplished in this arena here tonight.